family. I'm Stephanie Waday. I'm Habasia, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. And no, unfortunately, I am not in the motherland right now. Or as my ancestors put in my head, the mothership. <laughs> I came here through that portal called Erling Gill, you know. And who helped me put, who helped put me in the spaceship was Charles Edward Spencer Jr., my co-creator, a.k.a. my dad, <laughs> who I never saw in person. My beautiful mother. You could say she was a yellow rose of Texas, even though she was really a Creole rose. <laughs> she was born in Louisiana, y'all. But anyway, guys, I've been watching all kinds of videos on YouTube, and I'm actually not saddened. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because I know my people are awake, at least the young people, you know. Because y'all, y'all know I'm 6 to 8, the ones who've been following me. And the ones who haven't been following me, I don't know how y'all think I am. And it, it don't matter, y'all. It doesn't matter to me. But I'm a Creole grill tish, y'all. I have never claimed to be anything but who I am. I don't try to be blackity, 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 blackity to anybody. I'm not preaching hate to anybody. I'm not trying to scare the hell out of anybody to go anywhere. Because I know that no place on earth is heaven. It could be heavenly places. But you can actually see those type places wherever you are, because they actually do exist. But everything has to do with what's happening in your life. Yeah, your life. Now, my life. So, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. My name is Stephanie Wade. Which moi dear, and I know, and I apologize, my Igbo friends and family, for not being able to pronounce it exactly, correctly. Because after 400 plus years, y'all, their group memory is weak. It's weak. And I've been living here. And who told me the name in the first place, told me it was Wadi, y'all, and he spelled it W-A-D-I-E when I met him. He had his own issues, y'all, not saying anything negative. All I know is that, hold on, I'll come back. Well, guys, y'all know this is live when y'all hear dogs in the background. That was my neighbor's dogs needing to go do his business, so he's done now. <laughs> so hopefully I won't have another dog noise without a dog of my own. <laughs> but anyway, to go back to my, my ex, he spelled his name W-A-D-I-E. I did not know that it was an N in front of it and an I on the end until we went to get our marriage license. <laughs> I had no idea, y'all. He was a true assimilationist. He wanted to make it easier for people to say, and so that's why he did it. And he also was raised by someone that I will not even say his name now because I don't want people to misconstrue and think I'm saying it in a negative way. <clears throat> but they had, been, they had been influenced to change their name and keep their last name. It's just a part of their name. And 
losing the end also. So he was like a second generation person writing Y there with W instead of an N. I cannot start to think of how much pressure it was for somebody to come from the motherland in the 1900s and assimilate with the brothers and sisters here already. It had to be a, something that was very, very life-changing, <clears throat> to say the least. So anyways, that's a story for another video, <laughs> for another day. But back to my last name. When I became on YDA, I was just so excited and proud and I felt like my ancestors were at peace because they felt like they got their name back. Not the exact name, but they was in the right target range, you know? Like if you could be throwing a dart at a target, the dart would hit the target, somewhere on that target. I had not even taken a DNA test at all. Didn't even know what a DNA test was back then. Then later on in my life, when we wasn't even together, I found out about the DNA test. <coughs> and a big majority of me is truly Nigerian. And in my uh, ancestry test, it says, yes, I have an ancestor that's 100% Nigerian. So <laughs> that's the ancestor that actually stuck out. So that ancestor was gangster, y'all. And that ancestor said, you get a Nigerian last name, and that's that. And I had no idea, y'all. Had no idea. <laughs> oh, don't hear voices or anything, but it's just a feeling inside of me, y'all. And when I met his family, all the people in the area, in the village, just kept saying, she looks like your sister, she looks like your sister. And he said, I don't care what she looks like. She's my wife. And then later on, y'all, when I was in the Isaluka Association in North America, <laughs> I saw his cousin, and she looked so much like my mom, y'all. My mom. Same color and everything. Same bill. And I told her that she looked like one of my family members because then I'm going to spook her out talking about somebody who was no longer in this virtual plane, you know? So, we have so many similarities, even physically, that those uh, genes are so dominant that they can be passed on. And after 400 years, it could be so distinctive that when I take pictures with some folks, it look like they my cousins. And they're in the motherland, you know. And some of the people that I have been around, just say even from this Ethiopia or whatever, my friend, her daughter, according to the lady at church, looked more like me than she looked like her mom. And I said, I can't help that. We can't help that. That is her mama. I'm not her mama, you know. So we just have these generalized similarities and the blending of the different uh, ethnic groups created all of us to look however we look, you know? So anyway, guys, I got the name, I bled in because I had three soldiers for Nigeria, as my in-laws would say. And my mother-in-law said, you can divorce him, but you cannot divorce us. Meaning that once you have children for a family, 
And you know, most places in the world are all about male. Excuse me for that fly, y'all. I can't control these flies, but anyway. <laughs> Most places are about male heirs to carry on the family name. And I had three of them. So it's like, no matter what you do, you'll always be in our family because our sons are emerging of the two families. My blood, his blood mixed to create our three sons. So three times I have uh, we have children for Nigeria, you know? So, again, they were not born in Nigeria, but Nigeria was born in them. And they carry on the name, whether they like it or not. You know, they grown people. But, you know, the stressors of trying to fit in and, and this system that wants everybody to be in what the matrix is brainwashing to believe is uh, socially acceptable to make people think that a name that they can trace for generations upon generations is something to be set aside or to be ridiculed because the people that's doing that don't understand that they may have some uh, feelings, you know, that dealing with them not being able to do that with their last names, you know, and that they can't trace their ancestor the same. It just is what it is, guys. I haven't been remarried. I'm not going to say I wasn't tempted. I'm human, y'all. But now I'm old. <laughs> I'm not interested in anybody. I love my people, whether they're on the continent or the motherland. I love my people in the diaspora, no matter where they are in the diaspora, y'all. I love all of you guys, you, 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 all of you, you all. <laughs> oh, my blood is mixed with Igbos in Nigeria. I'm gangster when it comes to defending Nigerians. I will not let anybody say any mythological derogatory stuff about them because I let them know no matter what happens, it's a universal thing that happens everywhere. And the news media is just painting the picture they want to paint about specific places and specific people to make you feel some kind of way, you know? And I don't... Listen to that story. But they say, whose report will you believe? Well, I'm not getting paid for this, y'all. <laughs> like I said, I'll say what I say if I never get a dime. Don't matter, y'all. Life is short. It's sweet most of the times. And I'm just the messenger, y'all. Like they say, oh, is you the one or is there another? Y'all, I'm the one. I'm not the only one. I'm sure maybe you might be the one. Or oh, is it you? Who knows? Maybe it's even you over there. You? <laughs> Are you the one? You got to tell your own story, y'all. Tell your own story. If you got anything to record... And you got a story to tell, please do. If you have a comment, please make your comment. Don't be cussing and all that because y'all know I ain't about that. I don't think that's cool. I'm done with all that. I'm old, y'all. So just act like I'm your mama, your grandmama, all that when you're giving me respect. <laughs> 
and I was never ghetto white, right? so you would have never seen me be publishing nothing like that, even when I was younger. So anyway, guys, please research, 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 no matter what topic it is. Try to understand, folks, where they're coming from. Literally, where they're coming from. <laughs> Listen to what they're saying. Cause, and then, watch what they do. Because <laughs> people actually show you what they're about by what they do. And that's why I say I've been encouraged with the uh, videos lately. Because these folks is actually letting me see that they are, are waking up. And, are, and some are just wide awake. And that's cool. That's great. <laughs> you need to know what's going on. You need to not have all these distractions of other things around you. Or just think that somebody that's a smooth talker, you know, it sounds like, you in the pulpit, <laughs> and you hear the fabulous sermon, <laughs> but they talk about nothing, y'all, or they just doing an editorial opinion of someone else and saying negative stuff about folks they don't even know, just so they can get likes or comments or whatever. I don't know, y'all, because I can't talk for nobody else. But even if I knew how to upload somebody else's video so I could tear them down. I wouldn't. Everything is about choice, y'all. For me, blood in. Blood out when we came here. They beat the crap out of my ancestors so the blood came out a lot down to them not even knowing who they were, to thinking that we was just Indians, not Africans, just Indians. And to be serious about that, because the Stockholm Syndrome was real, y'all. But I was bled back in for each baby I had. I had to bleed in. It's not a a clean business having birth, giving birth to anybody, whether it's male or female. And it's serious business, y'all. You could die doing that kind of stuff. It's high risk activity, <laughs> becoming a mother, becoming a portal for life. It's no easy task. I don't regret it. I love my family. I love my motherland. I love Galveston too. I love Texas. This country in general, ah, not so much. <laughs> but you know how it is in Texas. We've been brainwashed to think Texas is this old country. That's why we don't have good electricity here because we're not on the grid. <laughs> so you see, I'm also a victim of that mentality, you know, Texas and no place else. <laughs> but I do love the Gambia because it reminds me so much of Galveston. And the folks there have helped to make my dreams come true even better than my dreams, y'all. Like I said, I'm doing my research just thinking all I was going to get out of it was a choral instrument made. That's all I thought was going to happen when I researched my grandmother's name. And instead, I found a family with that surname that was so loving and accepting and was so touched by my story. You know, I had no idea that choral was even a surname. Because for those who have not seen any of my other videos, 
They had brainwashed us that we didn't have last names, except for the names that they attached to us as property, y'all. You know, they had stripped us of our first names, stripped us of our last names. And some folks, you know, just attach themselves to that because they like, it was my daddy name, you know, it was my mama name, all that kind of stuff, all that. But all I know is, I'm like Tina. I ain't gonna even say her last name because you know a lot of people names is copyrighted. <laughs> so I don't wanna get in trouble saying folks last name. But I earned this. I, I got married before I had our babies and I had three of them. So I'm blood in y'all. I have this name for life no matter how long that is. So on that note, I can say peace, peace, power to the people, and I'm out, y'all. Bye.